What is up guys, it's your Ashes here today with another review, this time on Skull Scorpio. So, take a look at the box, this is ages 8 to 14, item number 70794, and 107 pieces, and then the picture of Skull Scorpio. On the back you can see the comic, just take a look at that. It's just a simple comic, nothing too great about it. There's a picture of Skull Scorpio, shows off the functions, and this combiner on the side, which if you have Mask Maker versus Skull Grinder, you can make this thing. Uh, I probably will make that, the combiners don't look that bad this time around, so let's go ahead, take a look at the parts. Alright, so as with all the other Skull villains, they come with some exclusive mask. And this one, it has the infected Master of Stone Golden Mask. And this one, you know, just goes trans yellow to gold. It's nothing too special, so you can pop his mask off and put it on Pohatu. And that's what it looks like on Pohatu. Doesn't look that bad, doesn't look too out of place if you ask me. Kinda like the look of it. Now we'll go ahead and move on to Skull Scorpio. Alright, so here is Skull Scorpio, and first things first, this set actually looks really good if you ask me. The set, it looks pretty good in appearance. A lot of people aren't really a fan of it, but personally, I think it looks good. The pincers, these are okay, but the pincers are actually pretty good, and I'll go into that a little bit more later. And overall, it's pretty nice, even with these sort of awkward red pieces. They just kind of add to it, if you ask me. So taking a look at the set, first things first, we'll go ahead and take a look at the functions. So first function, as with all the sets, you just pop the mask off through the eye stock. And personally, I think that um they've gotten much, much more stiffer with these. And I'm really happy about that because in the first wave, they were a little bit on the loser side. They'd be kind of just going up and down. And so it is nice to see them sort of adding some, some stiffness to these so the mask won't fall off as often. Second function, this is the main function and probably the main buying point for this set for most people. This. This is it's a pretty okay function. It works pretty well. There are a lot of things you can do with this. Like if you wanted to, say I had Paul Hatu here, if I really wanted to, I could just sort of do this and if I I could just pull his mask off. And yeah. So it is pretty decent. It's an okay function. It works well for the most part, but it is pretty easy. I could see, I could easily see some like kid messing up the build here, because I mean I, I messed up the build myself. So, also on the back here, there's just this random sort of blue pin here, and this does serve a purpose. It's to hold this rubber band in place so it doesn't kind of like fall off. But I can see a lot of people hating on this. I can see a lot of people just not gonna like the fact that there's some random blue pin sticking out in the back here, and it doesn't fit with color scheme at all. And they easily could have had, say, just one of these, they could have put like two of these bushings here and then that one sort of gray piece, and that would have worked as well. So, now taking a look at the set for posability, there's not a lot of posability you're going to get with this guy. This guy, these legs, this is all you get. This, his legs will move like this, and that that's pretty much it. You know, you can move his arms up and down now, with his little pincers, you know, if you wanted to, you can move these around. And you can even move... The function, like if I wanted to, I could add the function all the way down here, and sort of out of sight a little bit. And if I wanted to have it sticking up like this, I could also do that. But personally, I would just rather have it down here. And there is a limit, because, you know, you don't want this to mess with this. Because, you know, if they hit each other, the function is not going to work. So if you wanted to, the pincers, you know, you could have him do something like this, which is okay for posability. He could hold the mask this infected uh, mask of stone so that wouldn't be too bad but I mean I can see a lot of people not doing that also speaking of that you can pop his mask off here and you can attack this that's what the uh, infected mask of stone looks like on skull Scorpio as of the time of making this video we do not have any confirmation what these actually will be used for the only thing we had for the new episodes are that little trailer and based off the trailer I think they're supposed to be actually wear these because there was a scene with uh, Skull Slicer wearing the infected mask jungle. So you can do that if you want to. Alright, but yeah, that is pretty much it for Skull Scorpio. Overall, this is actually a pretty decent set. I can see why someone would want it. It has overall pretty good pieces. Like, this is this is a pretty decent uh, set if you were a Technic Mocker. As for CCBS, it's not that great for CCBS mocking, but it is good because it has some, some trans pieces, these new weapons and this ribcage piece along with the new mask. 
So to me, this is a love-hate set. I can see why someone would hate Skull, Scorpio. Just, you know, there's there's not a lot going on with this guy. Pretty much all you got is this function, and that's pretty much all you can really do with him. Personally, uh, I'm kind of either way. I'm sort of like tilting. It's to me, it's it's okay. It's not like it's definitely the most underwhelming set of the wave. But overall, as a set, this would probably fare well. A kid would have fun with this. And yeah, so that is pretty much it for this. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.